Welcome back, folks, one and all, to Let's Play Simon's Quest. And why are we collecting enemy hearts? Why are hearts a valuable commodity in this world? Hey, dude, you want some vampire heart? It's, like, awesome and everything. I don't pretend to think that these people actually talk like that. It would be quite funny, though. Ah! What a horrible night to have an ex a stupid plot point. Now you're all vampires. And zombies. Oh goody, looks like I'm gonna have to go kill some more things. Where are those zombies? This'll be a good excuse to get to 150 hearts anyway. We need a better weapon, we need to be able to kill things faster. And I like how everything spontaneously combusts into fire when you kill it. I'm hitting these zombies with a leather whip. What were they eating? Oil before their death? Have I attained my maximum number of hearts? No, but apparently... Something happened. Uh, if someone can tell me what that was... I won't pretend to, to know. Maybe I need a level or something. What is L? Maybe I'm level 2 now or something. <laughs> Woohoo! I'm probably not. Simon Belmont probably doesn't have the luck. That kind of luck. You know, if Simon Belmont wasn't such a nice chap, surely he'd just leave this kingdom to ruin? I mean, sure, they have a slight monster problem. Sure, you can't step five feet out of town before you get assaulted by werewolves and skeletons, and I'm not even going to look to the west to see what's there yet. But, and sure, at night, zombies and bats invade, but at day, it's all hunky-dory, as long as no one ever leaves town ever, there won't be any problems at all. I start to see the, uh, the problem with this, uh, with this system. How are these people still alive? How long has this curse been going on for? This is going on for more than a few months with the lack of capability to get food and water and produce. These people would have died ages ago. This is a medieval town. It's not like they could just have it airlifted in. Well, they could if it was on giant eagles, but I don't think there are giant eagles in Castlevania. Prove, correct me if I'm wrong, folks. Tell me which game has giant eagles in it. And I will tell you how insignificant that is to the plot of Simon's Quest. I shouldn't have jumped, but I got away with it. I have 222 hearts. I have far too many hearts. Have a heart, they told Simon. And he took them. Hundreds of them. All decayed and dead. And he traded them in for a whip. I don't see why the monsters can't drop gold. You know, for a medieval town, this town is on a lot of floors. Very difficult in medieval times to build good houses on multiple levels, and yet this is like three or four levels. Ah, goody, the morning sun has vanquished the horrible night. Back to being daytime. They'll be like, we hate you, Simon. We know that you ridded our town of countless zombies, but we still hate you. Let's go into this place. What's in what's in here? Hello, Mr. Man. What can you sell me? What can you sell me? What did you buy, holy water? Yes! Um... I don't know how to use holy water. But hey, holy water! I I'll, I'll look it up in a bit. Maybe after this video. Oh! Water! We gotta deal with the water. Jump. Jump! What do you have to say? Clues to Dracula's riddle are in the town of Veros. Cool beans. I guess we need to go to Veros now. What do you have to sell, sir? Buy a thorn whip. It fell off the back of a wagon. Certainly! It's a slightly longer whip. Bravo. 
Rumor has it, the ferryman at Dead River loves garlic. Nice to know. That's not going to have any relevance to anything later. A magic potion will destroy the wall of evil. Marvelous, do I also have to destroy the turnstile of doubt? I'm not even talking to that guy up there. And I hope I do not fall in the water and die instantly. Right, I have the, the Thorn Whip, I have Holy Water, and I have a White Crystal. Let's go to Veros! Oh yeah! We can kill these things in one hit! Patoom! Patoom! You don't scare me, werewolves! I have a whip made of thorns! I think we're meant to go this way. Oh dear! Deep ones! No! I do not worship Cthulhu! Bad Cthulhu! Oh, okay. Careful! You do not want to get knocked off. Uh, no! You really do not want to get knocked off! Like that! Yes! No, I'm not accepting it though. Careful. If you can hit them when they're on their way up, you're onto a good thing. They're not that tough, as you can see. One hit kills them. They're tougher at night. Now, I don't remember if we're meant to go up or down here, but since I can't actually physically get down at that point, I presume we have to go up. Oh, now we can go down. Hmm. I will predict that I have to go right. I'm probably wrong. And I bet I have to go right again. Ooh. Pink water. Um. Pink water hurts. Pink water doesn't kill you. Do 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 Moving on. We're going into a wood. We're still in the wood. This looks like a mansion. I'm going to avoid it. I want to get to... Bob bats! Sorry, I, I, I just want to kill all bats as soon as I see them. The bat! I think I'm lost, and it's a horrible night to have a curse. This isn't good. Oh, I can still kill those with one hit, though, except the bats that now take two. Oh, spiders. Ah, spiders and fire webs. No. Ow, those webs hurt for some reason. What are they made of, steel? All right, we're going into a cave here. I'm not sure I want to be here. Um, hmm. We'll leave it here for now. Um, I will briefly check if I'm meant to be even going this way. Until then, folks. Until then. That will go a little further, why not? I think I'll go back out. I can't hit the webs. I better decide if I need to do it quickly. No, we'll stop here. Until then, folks, until then.